Reactive Arthritis versus Writer's Syndrome. What should this disease be called? Should a physician convicted of war crimes against people under his care be honored by calling a disease after him? Reactive arthritis is also known as Writer's Syndrome, Arthritis urethritica, venereal arthritis, and polyarticulitis enterica. What is reactive arthritis? It's an autoimmune condition that develops in response to an infection in another part of the body, so cross-reactivity is involved, and bacterial infections can trigger this disease. How are reactive arthritis and other types of arthritis different? Reactive arthritis has symptoms similar to various other conditions known as arthritis, but by the time the patient presents with symptoms, oftentimes the trigger infection has either been cured or is in remission in, in cases of chronic infection. What is the triad of symptoms? Well, first, there's an inflammatory arthritis of large joints commonly including the knee and back, and this is due to involvement of the sacroiliac joint. Next, there's inflammation of the eyes in the form of conjunctivitis, which is the inflammation of the outer layer of the eye, or uruvitis, which is inflammation of the middle layers of the eye, or this inflammation could also include urethritis in men, or cervicularis in women. And then the final leg of the triad, the third, the third component, is patients may also have lesions on the mucous membranes of the skin, as well as psoriasis-like skin lesions, and there may also be inflammation where the Achilles tendon attaches to the heel bone, resulting in heel pain. Now, not all not all people experience all manifestations of reactive arthritis. Why is reactive arthritis called Reiter's syndrome? A German physician, Hans Conrad Julius Reiter, described the syndrome in 1916. Although Reiter was not the first person to describe this condition, he was an energetic and long-lived self-promoter. So he lived a long time, and every time he talked about it, he called it Reiter's Syndrome. And eventually the name Reiter's Syndrome caught on. Who was Hans Conrad Julius Reiter? Well, one of the things he also was was an enthusiastic supporter of the Nazi regime. He wrote a well-known book on racial hygiene in which he thought the correct course of action was to euthanize and sterilize and um, carry out genocide against people of other races that weren't his own. He designed typhus inoculation experiments that killed more than 250 prisoners at concentration camps like Buchenwald. He was later convicted of war crimes for his medical experiments at the concentration, at the concentration camp called Buchenwald. Events that followed. Well, in 1977, appalled by his war crimes, a group of doctors began a campaign for the term Reiter's Syndrome to be abandoned and renamed Reactive Arthritis. In the last few years, the campaign to change the name to Reactive Arthritis has met with considerable success. Who am I? I'm Barbara Allen. I am the author of Conquering Arthritis, What Doctors Don't Tell You Because They Don't Know, and it's been the number one best-selling arthritis book on Amazon.com for the eight, last, for eight years running now. On a personal note, I already favored the term reactive arthritis because I found that enabled me to get better medical care. Now, having recently learned more about the name change campaign, I have one more reason to favor the name reactive arthritis. Thank you to Don Taylor 
who recently wrote me about Dr. Ryder's history, of which I was previously unaware. For more information about healing from arthritis, visit conqueringarthritis.com.